talent comes on. I when I'm on the road and I work with other comedians, I like the strongest comedians to work with me because I measure myself up against the best. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't I can't say nothing but something that's gonna make people not like me, but I'm good with that too. Um there's not a lot of people who want talent around them. They want the people they pick. They want them to blow up so they can still shine. But like around this underground in America, there's some talented people where if the world saw them, a lot of guys that's getting played now, they would not look good against some of the talent out here. It's just, if you really got a bad bitch, I mean, this is going to be a great example. If you really got a bad bitch, all she got to do is walk in the room and the other bitches know their opportunity is limited. You have to believe that. A bad bitch got shit down. So if you got real talented comics at a venue, that's intimidating to the comics that was chosen by the industry. But why wasn't it like that when they had Deaf Comedy Jam? But like they like okay, we they started off with Martin Lawrence and then they switched the whole spot. Everybody was up there. You had Tory uh what what's the nigga name? Tory Rock. You had Tony Rock up there. You had motherfucking your nigga Steve Harvey up there. Everybody was hosting that shit. You had my nigga uh from, from Players Club. What's my nigga name from Players Club? Tory. Not Tory, nigga, the the one the main nigga, uh, Bell, Bill Bellamy. You had him hosting the shit. So why isn't it like that? Like it was a conglomerate, my nigga, a comedy conglomerate where everybody blew the fuck up. Like you gotta have nigga like uh what they doing over there with, with what y'all went to with the roast, the roast shit where y'all did in the classroom and shit. You know what I mean? All deaf digital. Why no fucking comedians? Like, come on, man. Like y'all got the lane. Like y'all could y'all could huddle up like a football team and say, bro, we gonna conquer this shit. We're going to divvy it up, nigga. We're going to do this season with this many comedians, the next season with that many comedians, this season with that many comedians, and we all going to be like the motherfucking union of comedian shit, and we running this shit, nigga, period. On some old content shit, as far as what you do to Netflix. Y'all come as a conglomerate. Nigga, solo. Uh, 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 fucking Dave Chappelle. Fucking uh, Cat Williams. All the solo shit is like eight figures. You know what I mean? Eight figures. So if y'all come together, that's gonna be some nine-figure shit, right? But what right? About, what about the people who don't want you to see their boyfriend, so they gotta keep their distance from? That ain't got nothing to do with business, my <laughs> nigga. Whatever, whatever a nigga do in his bedroom, that's his business. What that fuck that gotta do with comedy? Hold on, Shaq, you, hold on, hold on. Shaq, you was, me a hold on, hold on, nigga. Let me live. Shaq was the biggest trick in L.A., nigga. And what did that have to do with him doing them comedy shows y'all did? Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. That's his personal business. Right? Y'all never said, hey, Shaq, you got a little dick. That's a rumor around L.A. Come on, man. Shaq, you got... Come on. That's his business. No Frank Ocean. So this is what I'm saying. Like, you asked me, I did the Shaq All-Star Comedy Jam. And if you ask me, I did the rawest set ever at the All Star Jam. Why you think? Why you think Shaq All Star Comedy Jam don't got nothing to do with Corey Oakley? Too raw, and they can't control you. Man, when I did the Shaq All Star Jam, man, they gave me six thousand dollars. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me get it to you. You asking me, let me get it to you. you know, <laughs> they wanted me to do something else. What you think I said? Motherfucker, we ain't finna do no six thousand dollars shit. <laughs> Them motherfuckers was like, fuck that nigga. And I dog, I'm telling you, man, the, 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 the people, it ain't just Shaq. It ain't just Shaq. Shaq just got his name on it and a little something to do with it. It's other people in that that realize Corey is not willing to be part 
of what we need him to be part of. So we got to act like Corey Holcomb don't exist because he's not going to do that again. Yeah, we got him to do it for $6,000. It was worth it because the whole nation saw I was better than a lot of people. Right. But I'm not going to do it again for $6,000. No. They, look, they got the Shaq All-Star game thing at the Super Bowl this year. Dog, they ain't got no heavy hitters on that motherfucker. They ain't got no motherfuckers who finna bring the house down. Me and Gooch, I told Gooch I might want to do a show Super Bowl weekend. Because yeah. I know if I do a show Super Bowl weekend, everybody who know about comedy gonna be like, this the funny show. Right. I wanted to book some comics and I just hosted. And I was going to book all funny comics. But yuck ass, why it don't never be... Man, let me tell you something, man. They don't want the cream to rise to the top. So <laughs> you got to... You gotta Look, we all out here on our own. You know how hard that is to do it all solo by yourself, right? Yeah. Right. Right. So that's that's what we own out here. Right. Mumbo, Mumbo would rather not have it then let the cream rise to the top that shit shit is full of fuckery it's a one of your bay one of your bay your fellow people from the bay i can't say the, i can't say the name for real but i'm gonna say this <laughs> don't do that man hey man that hey. bitch Determined to make sure I ain't plugged with a lot of motherfuckers because the bitch try to give me some power of attorney paperwork. What you think I told the hoe? It's all about control, and they ain't nothing but the niggas. So by the time you get to the you get to the real big boys, Mr. Feinstein, them, tell uh, 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 gonna act like she got paperwork on you. They gonna pay her off. That's how she get her money. Well, I got, he was fool enough to sign these uh, power of attorney papers. Gooch. I'm right here, I know. Yo, cousin, what are you in charge of? Laugh Factor. No, nah, he in charge more than that, boy. Well, well yeah, but yeah, he's, 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 a, he's a gatekeeper. You know he tried to give me some power of attorney paperwork. You didn't tell me that one. Man, look, Goose, because it's your cousin. I ain't want you to be like, I'm shitting on him. But on everything I love, that's what he did. So, Yuck's in here talk about, let's be united. Homie, everybody is cutthroat in life. We don't help our brother. We hold our brothers down. I mean, hold our brothers back. So, right. say the Kumbaya thing, um, um, uh, Yuck. Trust me, who out here finna cool by y'all with you? Everybody want to call you and tell you this is the average comic. Yeah, man, this dude, he got a show. He want to book you. And um, you know what I'm saying? It's my show, but um, uh, how much you charge? I'll be like, what? I don't want to talk to you. If some dude want to book me for a show, you could give me his number or have him call me. Oh, no, no, no. You just go through me and tell me. I'm, I'm like, man, I ain't talking to you about nothing. I know you out here living with your bitch. <laughs> look, 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 Corey. I mean, <laughs> all jokes aside, 